Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we direct your attention to the infield awards platform for the presentation of the Penn Relays Championship plaque in the high school girls 4x100 Championship of America to Hydell. The high school girls 4x100 Championship of America at Penn Relays saw Heidel High School's team from Jamaica taking home the first place. Alana Reed, Onika McAnuff, Shimonique Hazel, and Aliyah Baker ran an impressive time of 44.16 seconds in lane 6, leaving the competition in their dust. Bullis School's team from Maryland came in second place, with Kennedy Flynn, Jado Foten, Sage Hinton, and Mirai Bernard finishing in 45.59 seconds in lane 7. St. Yago High School from Jamaica took the third place with Brianna Davidson, Quana Walker, Brianna Campbell, and Pashana Lee Blake finishing in 45.98 seconds in lane 5. The event was highly competitive, with other schools participating, including McDonough School from Maryland, SA. Augustine's from the Bahamas, Heritage from Virginia, South County from Virginia, and Woolmer's Girls from Jamaica. Unfortunately, Edwin Allen's team from Jamaica did not finish the race. The high school girls 4x100 Championship of America was an excellent showcase of the impressive speed and athleticism of young female athletes. The event was held at Franklin Field, and the crowd was treated to a thrilling display of high school track and field. Nice victory for your team. Came in as the, the favorite um, to win the title. Now, how, how do you think? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've been having a great year. You know, that's cool, and you know, God has just blessed us with this one. We've never won this one before. Um, so to come out as victors, it's really a good feeling. The weather's not good, but hey, you know, we're able to produce a fast time. I think it's the third fastest time in the history of the relay. So, you know. We give, thanks, give God thanks for that. How, how do you keep the girls motivated though, um, knowing the conditions, um, you know, they have to run in? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, we, do, we have we've got some mature girls out there. Our captain has been here. This is her final year. Um, you know, she's a good leader. And we've, we've tried our best to keep them leveled and, 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 and level-headed and zoned in. I mean, Ladies and gentlemen, now up we've been, we've been undefeated all year, so we just need another motivation. Champion. We've never won it, and we've been having this a very historic year by winning champs, so why not continue to train release? So this is an extension of what we've done best jumps thus from far, 21, two and three means, quarters. This year, you would have done a lot, thing, a lot of things differently from previous years, or it was just your time? Um, it was God's time, you know, and God has allowed us to win this one, and we just... You know, we just cherish him and we cherish what he has done for us as a school and we just continue to praise him for allowing us to be here. It's not a gun, it's not the best condition, but it's maybe able to come out and survive. So yeah. And my final question, a lot of people have been asking, how do you do it? I mean you are in charge of the high yield program, you're in charge of the Calabar program that picks the work. You know what you want to do? I mean, he has allowed me just the wisdom and just the, the support just to do it. It has been tough. It's been a rough year. I think I need to officially get a vacation now. But God is good. And he has allowed us to really come through again for the, for the, for the both teams. And